Praise the Lord. Welcome to another edition of Touch of Healing. I'm Pastor Daniel. And as usual, for just about 10, maximum 15 minutes, I want to share God's Word that will produce faith so that you can receive healing uh, for any or every manner of sickness and disease. Today, I want to talk about the Lord, our healer. Now, this comes from the Old Testament. I know that uh, many believe the Old Testament is all gone and done away with, but the truth is that the law of the Old Testament it may be done away with in Christ because Christ fulfilled the law. But there are many things in the Old Testament that still stands today, like the promises of God. The Bible says that the blessings of Abraham comes upon the Gentiles through Christ Jesus. So the blessings are not done away with. The, the good things of the Old Testament, the word, the, 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 the discipline, the instructions of, of understanding God, they are not done away with. And one of the things that is definitely not done away with are the names of God. Now, in Christ Jesus, all these names are fulfilled. But for you to understand the richness of the, the name of Jesus, you also want to examine the names that God revealed himself in the Old Testament. And one of the names in which he revealed himself is Jehovah Rapha or Jehovah Rapha, which means the Lord our healer. Or some translation we say the Lord our physician. Today you probably say the Lord our doctor, meaning that God is our doctor. He's the one that heals us. He's the one that shows us how to come out of sickness and disease and helps us to live in divine health. So today, if you don't mind, I'd like you to join me in the book of Exodus chapter number 15. Exodus chapter number 15. I'm reading verse 26. The Bible says, and he said, he here, God was speaking to the children of Israel. He said, and said, and he, and said, if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, I will do that which is right in his sight. I will give ear to his commandment and keep all his statutes. I will put none of these diseases upon thee which I have brought upon the Egyptians for I am the Lord that he led thee I am the Lord that he led thee and now reading in these verses it may sound like God says he's the one that will bring sickness and disease that he put upon the Egyptians but if you read it from the original Hebrew it actually is permissive he would not permit upon you all of the diseases that were permitted on the Egyptians. Like we have established in many other editions of Touch of Healing, that God is not the author of sickness and disease. Sickness and disease comes because people get out of the Word of God and live in sin. Like what happened when Adam sinned, he became subject to death. And so here he's telling them that if they would hack into the voice of God, if they will do the word of God, if they will submit themselves to God, like the word of God says, he said, none of these diseases will come upon them. God will not even permit them to become sick. He said, because I am the Lord that he led thee. I am the Lord, your physician. I am the Lord, your doctor. Now, so if you're watching this, you have a physician. Now, many people may be watching this in different parts of the world. And there are parts of the world where everybody almost may have a doctor uh, called medical insurance. So you can easily go there and have the prescriptions and help when you need, he need it. Uh, we believe God can heal with or without doctors. But there are also many other countries that people don't even have access to medical help. There is no medical fa facilities that can help or they can't afford to go to the hospital. Now, whichever one you're in, I want you to know that you already have a doctor. His name is Jesus Christ. The Lord God himself, true Christ says, I am the Lord, your physician, your healer. I am the one who redeems you from sickness and disease. It gives a condition here. You have to listen to the word of God and believe the word of God. Believe that Jesus Christ came to die for your sin, to die for your sickness and receive him into your heart. He says he will be your physician and he will heal you and none, not one of these diseases that are upon the earth. Believers here it says Egyptians, which represent unbelievers or people who don't love God, don't know God. He said none of it will come upon you. Now we do believe according to scriptures that if you live according to God's word, you will be exempt from sickness and disease. The Bible says in Psalm 91 that that if you make the Lord God most high your dwelling place, your habitation, if you dwell in the secret place of the Most High, you abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Then He says also that a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand by your right side. He said, but it will not come nigh your dwelling. Why? Because the Lord is your refuge. The 
the Lord is your protection. The Lord is your healer. The same thing he's saying here. And if you listen to God's word, if you spend time meditating on the word of God, he said none of these diseases that was permitted on unbelievers will come nigh you. That means that no matter what the pandemic, no matter what is going out there, you will be protected. Again, I'm not cons I'm not saying you shouldn't follow the instructions of the CDC. Co cover your nose, uh, wear face masks, wash your hands. Uh, those things, some of them have scriptural origins as well. But we want to know that those are not our security. We will do those things, but we can. We have to depend on God because many people who did those things still caught the disease. Yeah, but if you stay with the word of God, God is guaranteeing you here divine health, divine protection from sickness and disease. I know some people say, yeah, pastor get real. I know pastors who have died. I know pastor who caught the disease. Are you saying that, you know, God will protect you? Why then did other people catch it? Well, I'm not here to explain why other people caught it, just to explain the scriptures. He says, if you will follow the word, he said, none of these diseases will come upon you. I am the Lord that healeth you, which means even if you have the symptoms, you will be healed. But better still, you can have divine health, divine protection, so that none of these diseases will come upon you. Again, I'm not intending to be long. It's to show you God's word, build your faith, pray for you so that you can receive your healing. So if you're watching this, you're already sick. He's still your healer. He's your doctor. Jesus is. And if you receive his word, believe his word, you can come out of that sickness. Even if they said it's terminal, maybe it's cancer, maybe you have been on the very last leg, you're from the fourth stage or you're you know you've got to a stage where the doctor says there's nothing they can do there is another doctor here jehovah rofeka that there is nothing too hard for him to do you can be healed and he the way he administers his sick his healing is by faith meaning you receive the word of god you believe the word of god in your heart and you say that you are healed you speak it out and follow the instructions of God's word. Again, he says, if you will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and give ear to his commandments, and keep his statutes, he said, I will put none of these diseases, or I will permit none of these diseases which have been brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that he led thee. So now we're going to be praying. Meaning that two things again, don't forget, if you're already sick, Jesus is your healer, he's your doctor, and by his word that he prescribes, you will receive your healing by faith, believing God. Now, if you are all, if you're well, then you can be protected against every manner of sickness and disease, because the word of God is life to those that find them, and healing or health to all their flesh. So we're going to be praying for you. Uh, if you're afraid of any kind of sickness and disease coming upon you, maybe it has been coming upon your family or you have a trait in your family, we're going to pray that you will be delivered, that that sickness, that disease will not come upon you. Or if you are sick already in your body, you have symptoms, you have pain, maybe you're already on medication and the doctors have given you a diagnosis, we believe also that the name of Jesus, the Word of God, can heal every manner of sickness and disease. He said, I am Jehovah Rufeka or Jehovah Rapha, your healer, your doctor. And we're going to call on him today. And I believe by the name of Jesus, you will be healed. So let us go ahead and pray. As usual, if you, if you want to, you can stretch your hand towards the screen or just touch it if you're watching the phone, using the phone, or just, you know, you know, put your other hand on your chest and hold the phone on your other hand. That way you use it as a point of contact uh, through the, 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 the media you're watching through uh, to your body. If you're watching on television or watching on YouTube, on TV, stretch your hand towards the screen, put your other hand on your chest, and join me in faith as we pray. And healing power is coming through this program to you now in Jesus name. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for everyone watching the sound of my voice. Satan, I rebuke you. Loose your hand in the name of Jesus. I command you, be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Everyone watching this program and hearing the sound of my voice. I say, ears be open, back be healed. Every symptom of sickness, every disease, loose your hold right now in the name of Jesus. Jehovah Rufeka, Jesus the healer is upon you with his hand of healing, breaking that yoke, removing that body, delivering you from that oppression today, right now, in Jesus' name. Be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Now begin to rejoice. The healing power of God is upon you. Miracles are happening right now in your body, in your mind, in Jesus' name. 
Amen and amen. I perceive you have been healed. So go ahead, rejoice. You can actually begin to share the testimonies. Some miracles are complete instantaneously. Some takes a little while and you begin to recover. Either way, the healing has begun and you are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, I'm Pastor Daniel. It's always a great privilege and joy to bring God's word to you. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share the program to others who may be going through similar things. And I want to believe God that as you too have been touched and healed, they too will be healed in Jesus' name. Write us a testimony. Let us know what God has done. Share your testimony with us. We would like to hear from you. And if you have any questions or you have an additional need for prayer or counseling, call the number on your screen or text us on the number and somebody will get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget God loves you, He loves you, Jesus is Lord and you're healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet in Jesus name. I'll see you in another episode of Touch of Healing. Have a blessed day.